We're here at Comic Con 2011. I'm here with Josh Keaton, who uh, is a good friend of our site from Spectacular Spider Man. But now Josh is starring in Transformers Prime as well as Green Lantern the Animated Series. Yes. Josh. That's, that, that's right. You're, you're becoming everyone now. <laughs> you've been Spider Man. You've been Green. Now you're Green Lantern. Green Lantern. You're a Transformer. Okay. Okay. Transformer, Transformer kid. kid. Guy. Um, yeah. You've been Aquaman. Aquaman. You've been Flash. Flash. Are you gonna be Wonder Woman next, or what, what, what's going on? Uh, I don't have the legs for it, but if I did, I would try. And uh, no, I'm gonna be Valtor, the evil wizard in this uh, Nickelodeon thing called Winx Club as well. You're all over the place. Yeah. yeah. So let's talk about Transformers Prime first. Yes. Tell, tell us a, a little bit about the the process of uh, getting into Transformers, and you know, wh wh you have to hang out with the robots on a regular basis, or wh what's the deal? Uh, you talking about me, yeah. me, me personally, or, or, or the character? character let's go with both. <laughs> Josh, let's go with you personally first. Do you get to hang yes, out with Optimus Prime? Yes, I hang out with the robots. Yeah. Um, actually, it's funny because it's the most family-like uh, cast that I've worked with on an animated show, uh, I'd say, almost ever. Like, everybody everybody is very, very close. We have barbecues. It's, it's kind of silly. But, uh, barbecuing yeah. with Optimus Prime. Yes, barbecue. Well, no, actually, Peter has has yet to come to one of the barbecues. Yeah, oh. I'm still trying to get barbecue him with everyone other than Optimus Prime. Right, and Frank. Oh, Frank okay. But Frank's notorious for kind of you know keeping to keeping it close to the vest or whatever. So, uh, but uh, I just totally zoned out. I, I'm on like three hours of sleep, and it's con and it's Comic Con. It's but, a given. Uh, yeah, you know. So I'm not really all here. But uh, we're talking about Transformers talking Prime, about Transformers which is a Prime, show that you're a part which of. Is a show that I'm a part of. And, uh, oh, hanging out with the robots. Yes. So, yes, no, I do not, yes, no, maybe hang out with robots. Does that sum it up? Or? I guess so. No, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see, let's see. Um, so how about your experience with, with Transformers? It, it's a, you know, another animated series. It's a CGI series. It's yes. been getting a lot of very good publicity. Um, but being the, one of the human characters, it's, you know, you, you definitely have a wider range than say the the robots. What what what's exciting about the series? What excites you personally about the show? I like the tone of the show. I like I like how much you can get away with just because of the fact that they're robots. I mean, you see some pretty violent fights, and uh, and and some pretty scary situations. And uh, it's it's kind of neat to see that in a kids show. And the other thing I like about it is that when you finish watching it, you kind of almost have this feel like you just watched a live-action sci-fi show. You don't really necessarily feel like you just watched a cartoon. Um, it's oh, and getting back to the hanging out with the robots and all that. It's 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 been an amazing uh, experience to work on the show because for one, I mean, I'm working with Frank Welker and I'm working with Peter Cullen, um, who are the original Optimus and Megatron that originated those voices, and uh, and and they're legends in their own right. And then uh, you know, people that are, I, in, by comparison, newer on the scene, but still veterans in their own right, like Steve Bloom and uh, and Kevin Michael Richardson. Uh, it's it's amazing to get to go into work with these people uh, every 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 episode.